YouTube, this is starting to feel like family around here. Seriously. Like, building hot rods, hanging out in the garage, making videos, sharing that whole experience. I'm enjoying it. I've, I've found so far that I'm motivated. I'm getting more done. Even though it takes twice as long. Seriously, it takes twice as long to do the work and make a video and edit it and all that kind of stuff. All of which I'm just trying to learn, right? Um, it'd be a lot faster if I just did the car. But I'm finding out that I'm actually motivated by the process of sharing it. So this whole idea of me trying to hold myself accountable by telling you what I was going to do, it's working. Let's see how it goes. Here's what we're doing today. I've been working on the engine compartment, getting it ready for paint. I realize there may be some additional metal work that needs to happen to the radiator core support um, to get a bigger radiator in the front of the car. Dropped everything, jumped in the van, went over to Reno, picked up the biggest Griffin radiator I could find over there. Also picked up a fan shroud and dual fan setup from a company called Derail. Brought that stuff home, knowing that the radiator is probably just a little bit too wide to conveniently slip down between the frame rails. As it turns out, I sit it down in there and uh, it needs some clearancy. Both sides, I need to trim about three quarters of an inch. And uh, then the radiator should, should slip down between the frame rails. Once I get it in place, I'll figure out what the radiator mounts need to look like. I'm just gonna wing it, make it up as I go. I'm thinking the bottom radiator mounts need to carry the weight of this assembly, so they need to be fairly substantial. And then the top of the radiator needs to be held in place somehow. Decided on one inch square tubing for the lower mount, inch and a quarter flat bar. The radiator will kind of like just saddle down over that. The piece of rubber will be right here.
just just this little angle uh, this is the piece that's going to go at the top of the radiator core it's going to be riveted to the core and then uh, it's going to hold the fan shroud so I guess this is going to be the fan shroud bracket I forgot to mark what side of the line to cut it Alright, I'm cutting it right down the middle. <laughs> Hey, I need to take a second and give a quick shout out to Johnny Mopar. The other night I was, uh, man, it was late. I was just getting ready to go to sleep. And uh, I saw that there was a bunch of Mopar dudes hanging out on YouTube in a live chat. So I jumped on and I was listening to what they're talking about. Cars, events, all this kind of cool stuff. And Johnny Mopar gave me a, sh a shout out. And I, I thought, dang. That's pretty cool. I really, really appreciate all the support from all the cool people that I've been meeting lately. It's fun and it seems to motivate me. Anyhow, thanks Ruben at uh, uh, Muscle City Madness. Thank you too. And uh, thank you Johnny Mopar. And all the other guys. I'll get to know everybody over time. Forgive me if I don't have everybody's name yet. But thank you so much. So as it turns out, radiator hose outlet, it hits the fan shroud. Here's what I'm doing. I need to cut out this little smile of the uh, fan shroud and then weld in a little panel good yep <laughs> it's gonna be clean I thought the look of this panel just plain wasn't very attractive. So I'm gonna drill some holes in it. Okay, so the bottom bracket that's going to hold the fan shroud to the radiator, I'm going to make that out of 
aluminum angle, just some bigger angle. It has like further, I gotta go further down to pick up the mounting point. That's a wrap. I think all in all it went pretty good. I'm happy with the way the cooling system came out. It's clean, didn't break the bank, and um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate that. Uh, I really appreciate all the feedback. I like interacting with everybody in the comments. I think it's my new favorite form of social media. Um, I got a bunch of videos coming up, a bunch of engine work videos, cylinder head videos, um, camshaft stuff, all that. And I'm excited to share all that stuff with you guys too. So stay tuned and um, I'll just keep rolling them out just as often as I can. All right, everybody take care. Cheers. Cheers.